Earlier this year, I showed a launch.json tutorial Visual Studio Code into an end-to-end -end web debugging interface. One surprising thing that people kept getting stuck with was the localhost 8080 address. By default, localhost 8080 is not available, and to make it available, you go to your terminal and start a server. However, you can also automate that as part of your debugging. You need to add two tasks to your launch.json, one that runs before the debugger launches and one that runs when you stop the debugging process. Tasks are defined in a task.json file in the same folder as the launch.json. In this case, the start server task runs a shell command called HTTP server in a silent fashion. This means VS Code opens a terminal in the background and does what we would do by hand to start the server. Tasks run, finish and then return to Visual Studio Code to start the debugger. But in this case the server keeps running, so the task never finishes. To trick Visual Studio Code into not waiting for the task to finish, we define a problem watcher and a background property. These here tell Visual Studio Code that everything went well and it can start the debugger. The stop server task runs when you close the debugger. In this case it sends a terminate command to the task terminal, closing it. There's one small annoying bug in this process at the moment. If the problems panel already has some messages in it, VS Code tells you that there was an error with your task. This should soon be fixed, but for now you can just hit debug anyway. If you want to try this out and play with it, you can fork the simple to-do app that I listed in the description.